No virtue signaling, no empty gestures, no armbands, just silence and boos from their supporters in support of that silence. That's what I call meaningful protest. Not capitulating on your supposed moral stance because somebody threatens to wave a yellow card at you. I generally think fans are pretty fed up with all the politics now at this World Cup. There's no doubt that FIFA's decision to take it to Qatar was scandalous, as it was to give it to Russia at the same time. But that decision was made 12 years ago. Today's massive England win, I hope, will mark a turning point, not just for the England team's stuttering form, but also for the tournament itself. This is the World Cup. Can we please enjoy the football? Well, joining me now is former England goalkeeper who played at three World Cups, Peter Shilton. He's also championing the World Cup's Gamble Awares campaign. Alongside him is former Liverpool and Ireland international Mark Lawrenson and former football manager Harry Redknapp. A veritable trilogy of football legends before me. Before I get into this debate, I want to play a clip. This is from Roy Keane today on ITV about the armband row in which he made his normal forthright views. The players could have done it for the first game. And took the punishment, whatever that might be, Kane, obviously you're risking saying if he's going to get a yellow card, if that was going to be the punishment. But that would have been a great statement. Do it for the first game, if you get your yellow card, what a message that would have been from Kane or Bale. Take your medicine, and then the next game you move on. You don't wear it, because obviously, again, you'd want to be getting suspended. But I think it was a big mistake, I think, both players, particularly, obviously, that we're talking about Wales and England here, should have stuck to their guns and done it. Whatever pressure from outside and from their own associations, have the belief, if that's what you believe, then go with it. I've got to say, I completely agree with them. I mean, let's start with you, Mark. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've got themselves into a hell of a mess here, haven't they, the FA? If you're going to virtue signal, for want of a better phrase, if you're going to show yeah. your virtue for something on a global stage... Just do it. Then just do it. Yeah. Don't I'm... say you're going to do it as a, as a stand and that's why you're not boycotting it, and then bottle it. Well, it, was, it ended up being a come down. But the other thing as well is, is and you mentioned this about the Iranian players, look, they, they could well go home mm. and end up in prison. Or dead. Or, or, or absolutely, yes. totally, 100% dead. I mean, that, that is a statement yes. in itself. So, it's just a strange one. I mean, it's just, it's just a small badge. I say it means a lot, but a small badge mm. on your arm, one love, wear it. So you get a yellow card. You know what FIFA are like? FIFA would then change their minds, wouldn't they? If, if everybody... Well, FIFA have been, I've got to say, FIFA have been Hopeless. absolutely Hopeless. pathetic yeah. in this tournament. Well, Infantino's speech of the day I was I mean, just it's just rambling joke. nonsense yeah. and insulting and all the rest of it. And of course, Unlike this programme. Thank you. <laughs> Certainly not tonight. <laughs> uh, Peter, what yeah. do you make of this? Because did you ever do any protests when you were a World Cup player for England? No, not at all. I, personally, I think all the pr protests should be done before the tournament. You know, I think it's it's the tournament, the World Cup is the greatest football show that we have. And I think, you know, it's getting sidestepped a little bit with, with protests of this and protests of that. I just think, look, let's do the protesting beforehand. When we get on the football pitch, let's concentrate on the football. You know, I don't think players should be asked to, you know... Um, to, to do the things we're asking them to do, you know. The problem uh, is, I think some of the players want to do it. They've all got quite moral, you know, moral <clears throat> and yeah, but we talk, political in the last few we years. Don't I want, think they see an upside to, to leading issues. We, we don't want wrong football with that. to become uh, political. Right. I, I, I just don't... I think football's football, politics are politics. The, the, the problem was that Qatar was given the World Cup in the first place mm. because the FIFA should have known that there was going to be a lot of... Uh, protesting against certain things. Have you said that? But, look, look, on that point, I mean, Mark, I, I feel quite strongly about this. There's never been a World Cup in the Middle East, which is a fantastic football-loving mm -hmm. continent, isn't it? I mean, we know so many great countries there love their football. They've never had a World Cup. They're perfectly entitled to have one. They've got issues with some of their laws and cultures... which Mass we find, Massive issues. ..which we find objectionable. Fine. Yeah, yeah. But what happens at the next World Cup, which is going to be in America and Mexico and Canada, right? You don't think Mexico has issues? we should be concerned about. America has draconian laws about abortion, for example. It has laws about gun rights, which we find objectionable over here in the UK. Are we going to have the same pontificating there, the same protests? No. Are we going to have monologues from presenters? No, I don't think it'll be as bad. And no, it, but why shouldn't like it be? Uh, well, I mean, the, the, the thing is with this is that for some reason it's like we're saying that the Qataris are just, you know, what, are they lower than us? Mm. You know, because, of the, you know, the Arab states, etc., which obviously no, but... I think the problem is, is end to end, insofar as is we think about the organisation, mm. 
um, you know, such a small country, all those kind of things. The other thing as well, Pierce, is, as we all know, that, you know, FIFA's corrupt anyway. Well, that's the has, problem. Has been for years and yeah. years and years. And until you sort them out, mm. it's a waste of time. What about mm. the BBC here being, uh, it seems to me, morally selective? They're happy to play an opening Surely ceremony not. at the Russia Surely World not. Cup. Yeah. But, you know, they, they do it at China, but they don't do it here. Strange. Mm. Str strange decision. Now, I, I would imagine, and I wouldn't know, but I would imagine that would have come from the very, very top right. of the BBC. But it's a very deliberate decision. If, if, you are, if you are living in the Middle East, if you're an Arab football fan, and you're watching the discrepancy between the way you're being treated on these things to, compared to Russia and China, you're not going to be very happy about it. You'd be we rave, wouldn't be. You'd be raving mad. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, we shouldn't, we shouldn't be going down this road, really. I mean, we should be talking about England's... Great win. Well, they were and, great, weren't they? And not Harry Kane yeah. wearing an armband. I mean, like I said, you know, pr protesting's fine. Yeah. You know, do it before the tournament, get it out of the way. But once you get on that pitch, you know, it's level playing field and... and well, let know. me talk to, to Harry Redknapp. Uh, Harry, what do you make of all this? They've got themselves into a right dog's dinner, it seems to me. Absolutely, Piers, and and like the lads are saying, like Peter just said there, I'm, I'm, you know, I think we're all getting, it's non-stop. You know, the World Cup really is all we hear about. It's not the football. It's about do we take the knee? Do we wear the armband? It's just non-stop. Let's, we look back a few years. You know, we got stopped from wearing a poppy on our shirt. Mm. You know, and, and England weren't allowed to wear the poppy mm. uh, around. You know. And we stand for it. Uh, and I think we end up, did we wear it on our short or what shorts or something? There was a change of whatever. It's just, you know, I, I don't know. We've gone out there to play this World Cup. There's a million problems going on. We, we Everything's, you know, not right what they're up to, I, uh, you know. Uh, and something has to be done about it, obviously. If we feel that strong... Then Harry Kane would say, "We're going to. We should have worn the armband." As I think, as Roy Keane said, "Take the yellow card today and get on with it." Gareth Bale, take the yellow. If you bleed that strongly, well, you know what? I'm, if I'm you really, make a stand. if, if we're really take that moral, if we're really that morally outraged, don't go. Right? You know, we people have boycotted World Cups, they boycotted go. Olympics. If you feel that strongly, absolutely. But, but I would say to to England fans don't who go. get on their high horse about Qatar, we did illegally invade Iraq, for example. It, only a few years ago, right, we sparked two decades of ISIS terrorism with our illegal invasion of that country. There are lots of people in the Middle East who have a pretty dim view of what we did. Uh, and we've never been held accountable. No one's ever boycotted England and our sporting uh, events because of it. And I think if you are living in the Middle East looking at that, again, you think double standards. 